It's going wild right now. It's so lit. Check this out. So I have no idea what that's about, but that is cool because we're in Bangkok and we just heard that. So cool. Good morning everyone. Today is our fifth day here in Bangkok and we're going to start off the morning by walking down the street just to pick up our laundry. Laundry has been a struggle for us and honestly this time we, we paid a lot. It was really expensive. More than we wanted to pay but when you're in an area like this you don't really have a lot of options and you just got to do what you got to do. Not a very exciting way to start the vlog but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up you know because this is something that's important. It's something that we don't really think about until you run out of clothes to wear and then you're like oh shit. Be prepared to do your laundry at every location. Since we're walking we don't have anything to do, I want to share a funny story with you. Yesterday while we were walking down this street looking for a laundry place, we ran into this uh, super pimp over here and uh, he followed us for like a good 20 minutes trying to get us to go to his uh, massage parlor. He told us, you know, he's got a hundred girls, you can choose what you want you want and like 1500 baht, an hour and a half you could do whatever the hell you want. He said he's got big rooms, big beds, lets you do whatever you want. Going to massage, probably not a good massage. We're trying really hard to get away from him, but he was very persistent. But we escaped. Because you know, we're not about that kind of shit. I'm sure you guys saw yesterday, but over here, to cross the street, foggy. Like over here, to cross the street, you just grab a flag, one of these, and you just wave that shit while you cross. I don't see any of the locals doing it. It must be tourist ass fools like me and Tony who do it. But we're gonna do it again because we do need to get our laundry which is over there. All right, so we go. This is how you survive. Yo, safety first guys. Yo, safety first. And see, that's how you do it. I walked across the street and I did not die. Oh man, 400 by the laundry. There's this small bag. It's finally time. We're going to eat, not around here, we're actually going to take a cab to Chinatown. This is a really special place that I really wanted to try for a long time. Last time I came here, my good friend, uh, I also came with my good friend Alvin from Nongla Cafe. Um, he tried this place and he told me something really, really, really good about it. And it really set some really high expectations in my mind. Alvin, I'm giving you some credibility here, so I'm going to go try this place out. He told me he had some of the best shit. So, we'll see. Alright guys, just arrived at the Grand China Hotel here in the Chinatown, Bangkok. And uh, yeah, the restaurant that we're going to is somewhere nearby. The problem is, we don't actually know where it is. Uh, my friend is just giving me like directions. Something like, you go out the main entrance, make a left, make, take another left, look for the lady with the white hair. And that's how we're supposed to find the restaurant. So this might be a little bit of a struggle. Uh, we're still waiting for Micah to meet us up. So we're just kind of walking around, taking a look around this place. Because it's uh, at this hotel, it's actually like they, they have a shopping center within the hotel too. Micah being uh, from Seattle, working in Seattle, he saw the Starbucks and he could not resist. He could not resist. <laughs> But uh, the prices are not cheap here. That's basically like regular Starbucks prices. So don't expect the Thai discount here. So now we met up with Micah and we are headed to the restaurant. I'm going off with some very vague instructions. So I really, really hope that we do find it. We got lucky and uh, I, we didn't actually find the restaurant. But our friend Christina talked to her cousin and her cousin just happened to spot us walking by. And so he came over, brought us over to the restaurant, and you know what we had to do. We ordered three pad CUs. Alvin gave it like a, a, a super recommendation. He said it was the best pad CU he's ever had in his life. Now I'm sure it's good. It looks super authentic here. We're basically eating in an alleyway, so I'm very excited. I love pad CU, and uh, let's dig in. Like I said, we didn't actually find the restaurant. They found us. Check it out. This is the small alleyway 
that she was talking about. So what you do is you start at the Grand China Hotel. You take a left out of the main entrance. You walk all the way down until you see the first alleyway. Then you take a left and then the restaurant will be on your right about maybe like 50 feet into, into the alleyway. It's gonna be on your right. So check it out. The reason I couldn't tell you a name or an address is because I don't really think they have one. Like they, they, they literally do not have one. It's just an alleyway. So I will say that it is definitely a gem over here. I'm giving them this glowing recommendation because the food was so good. All of us ordered seconds. So give them a try. Now that we finished up with lunch, I think Tony, Micah, and I are gonna walk around Chinatown, do a little bit of exploring, and uh, just see what we can find, you know? Because this, this area is very different from where our hotel is and uh, kind of the areas that we've been at the past few days. If you do come to Bangkok, I recommend definitely checking out Chinatown because it gives you a very different, maybe even a more authentic feel than uh, over there in the city. So absolutely keep that in mind. I'm also sure that you guys have noticed by now, Tony and I, we picked up these, uh, the Migo glasses. And uh, you know, unfortunately, we showed a friend of ours, shout out to Hatal, who said we were actually ugly as <laughs> with them. We reconsidered. And then we decided to buy them anyway because it's sick. Don't you guys think? I'm just kidding. I mean, if you guys still think I'm ugly, then just just put it in put it in the comments <laughs> if we're still ugly. But it is what it is. I bought it already. So you guys know what time it is. Time to check out the pool. And uh, we're gonna hang out there for a little bit. It's such a beautiful pool. I'm afraid it might be crowded up there right now though. So we will see, hopefully we get some seats. If not, then it uh, doesn't matter because we're gonna be in the water. <laughs> Just got to our location. We're over here at the Lee, the Libra at State Tower, and over here is where they have a, a very, very nice rooftop bar. You guys might recognize it from The Hangover 2 If you guys watch that movie, it's going wild right now. It's so lit. Check this out. So this bar is located on the 64th floor at the State Tower. And it's also a hotel, I guess. So there's actually a line for people going back to the rooms and then a separate line over here for people trying to go up. It seems to be a long wait because I've been here for a little bit. But, you know, I guess I can't complain. 64th floor, that's crazy. Just got back to the hotel room. That was cool. The Libra State Tower, that's what it's called. 
sky bar on the 64th floor however i would say that it's just something that you check out to say that you check out you checked it out you know it, the view is amazing it's you know obviously on the 64th floor it's way up there you can see everything around you but the vibes uh depends what you like a very classy vibe there you know if you like bad and bougie maybe you like that at the same time maybe it's not for you they have a lot of rules you know they're very restricting i wanted to get more shots up there but there are a lot of places that they did not allow filming so keep that in mind when you guys go visit but would definitely recommend visiting just one time at least that's it for today's vlog we're super tired super beat but we still have a day tomorrow it is our last night here in bangkok but tomorrow we still have a whole day we do have some things planned for tomorrow and i think they're going to be interesting we actually might be meeting up with some of our friends as well so more people better good i will see you guys tomorrow i hope you enjoyed today's vlog Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys later. Peace.